New Zealand continues to suffer from high levels of excess death in 2024. Just what is causing these extra deaths in New Zealand? Stats New Zealand Today published their birth and death statistics for the year ended June 2024. The findings are shocking. Birth rates are declining in New Zealand. Just 57,000 births were registered in the year to June 2024, down by over 500 on the 2023 figure, which was also lower than average. More worryingly, deaths continue to be in excess. A total of 37,500 deaths were registered in the last year. This is 3,000 deaths above average. Pre-pandemic, New Zealand was averaging around 33,500 deaths per year. This was maintained through 2020 and the early part of 2021, which was surprising given we were living through a global pandemic. Former First Minister Jacinda Ardern took a lot of praise for keeping mortality levels normal during the pandemic. This all changed, however, as deaths went into excess through 2022, 2023 and now 2024, with over 10,000 extra deaths in that time. The fertility rate in New Zealand is also at record low levels, at just 1.53 births per mother. In order for a nation to reproduce its numbers, the total fertility rate needs to be over 2.1. Without immigration, New Zealand's population is naturally beginning to decline. Perhaps the most worrying statistic from today, however, is the increase in infant mortality rate, with almost five deaths per 1,000 live births being recorded in the past year, up from 3.5 in the previous year. Also updated today was New Zealand's death from COVID data. Astonishingly, the data shows that over 90% of the total COVID deaths reported in New Zealand were amongst the fully vaccinated or boosted population. During 2020 and early 2021, New Zealand appeared to have COVID under control, with only a couple of hundred COVID deaths prior to the vaccine rollout. Vaccine doses shown in blue here, COVID deaths shown in red. The deaths attributed to COVID-19 make up around one third of the excess deaths in New Zealand in the past three years. Something else is causing Kiwis to die in excessive numbers, and the excess is being seen across all the age groups, not just in the elderly. A full-scale public inquiry is needed in New Zealand to confirm the cause of those 10,000 extra deaths. Although I suspect the government already knows the cause and does not want the truth to be heard, which might just explain why Jacinda stepped down earlier last year. Thanks for watching guys, please share.